How's it going everybody? Nick Daniels here. Uh, we're, let's get that radio off. We're doing another vlog here, but we're driving this time going down to the grocery store, picking up some fucking juice. Oh, demonetized. And uh, I want to talk about something here. Now, uh, I'm not going to be looking at the camera too much because I need to focus on what I'm doing, but um, I'll get my point across here. So I want to talk about click clickbaiting really quickly. Uh, it's going to be about three minutes long here, so sit back, relax, and grab something neat. Uh, clickbaiting, if you don't know what that is, in, in at least in YouTube terminology, and that's what we're going to remote it as here, or remote it as, but that's what we're going to call it. And you're going to hear some cars driving by, by the way. Sorry. Um, but anyway, clickbaiting, in a, in a YouTube standpoint, is b it basically as a title of a video being very misleading and normally not containing any pertaining it to anything of the video. Uh, so, for example, you will have a video that's called, um, I just had sex, right? Now, when you watch the set video of I just had sex, as it's titled, there will literally be nothing in the video about you having sex. Clickbaiting. And there are certain points where, you know, minor clickbaiting, um, where you could literally just add someone's name in the title, um, like again, like say like a, a more famous YouTuber, for example, and that will get you apparently some publicity, and at the same time, some notoriety, or however you pronounce that word, be because of that, because again, you're, you're not, you're not, if you're not even going to talk about them, what the fuck's the point of having? And clickbaiting to me is really, it really pisses me off because a lot of times you, you'll see these videos that are specifically titled something, you go to that video, again, oh boy, um, specifically for that um, type of content, and it's not there. And the, the, the worst ones is actually, like I said, it's just when it doesn't pertain to anything about the video whatsoever, and you can clearly tell that the title, and they always have like an open-ended question mark, to, like a question, open-ended question mark, uh, but they always have like an open-ended question, so it'll be like, I just did what? And then they'll just leave it completely blank, which makes the, 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 the watcher, the viewer, having to guess that, well, they'll probably just watch, right? That gets them to watch. That's a little more minor clickbaiting, but it's still to the same degree of saying it's clickbait. Right? It is still clickbait. It's just a lot. I, I would say that's more of a minority compared to literally just completely canceling um, out the item in question. Right? Like I said, when you don't pertain to the audience, when you don't have that t content that you're telling people is in the video, right? To me, that's clickbait. That's, yes, it, you know, in a sense, you can also, again, say that the minor clickbait, yes, is a thing, the open-ended questions, whatever, but again, it's minor. When you look at, okay, I'm going to title a video or something, and I'm going to have nothing in the video relating to the title of my video, but I'm just doing that because, for whatever reason I have, that is clickbait. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. We are here. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and we're going to have to see you in the next one. Leave your thoughts down below. Cheers.